here's the last question in the uh, final exam review. What they want us to do is uh, kind of find use trigonometric uh, identities to rewrite this expression. Okay. So what we can do, what I'd like to do is, is if you rewrite every function in terms of sine or cosine. So sine x is sine x. It's already sine. We've got the little parentheses. Cotangent is cosine divided by sine. And so that allows us to simplify things, because sine is like sine over 1. Sine divided by sine is 1. All we're left with now is the cosine x. See how we can kind of... So this is sort of the algebra part of, tr of trigonometry, where we can reduce the statements. Uh, here's cotangent divided by cosine. So again, I'll write cotangent is going to be... Uh, cosine, sorry, cosine over sine. Cotangent is cosine. We're going to divide by cosine. So that's cosine over 1, um, which means you invert and multiply, right? So cosine x over 1, it's reciprocal, it's going to be 1 over cosine. X. So we change division into multiplication of the reciprocal. So in this case, cosine divided by cosine is 1, and what we're left with is 1 over sine x. Uh, we don't see that as an answer because what is 1 over sine x? Well, another way to write 1 over sine x is cosecant. Cosecant x. 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x. That's our identity right there. So again, the process is change everything in terms of sine and cosine. Simplify, and then maybe at the end we switch back to a, a simpler function or a, a reciprocal function or something. Okay, we've got cosecant x times sine x. Remember, cosecant x is uh, 1 over sine. So the first is to kind of do that conversion or that identity. Remember that's sine x over 1. The sine x divided by sine x becomes 1. This whole thing is now equal to 1. That's what this simplifies into. Um, let's see if we have any of those. So these are reciprocal identities here. So this will be the formula sheet that comes with the test. Uh, you can see cotangents could be thought of as 1 over cosine. Sorry, 1 over tangent or cosine over sine. Tangent, sine over cosine. Um, secant, 1 over cosine. And cosecant, 1 over sine. Now for the next one, we're going to be using these um, Pythagorean identities, but maybe in a slightly different form because, well, we, well let's, uh, let's go back over here. So... Here we have one minus cosine theta. So um, taking this top one, if you subtracted cosine squared theta from both sides, you would have sine squared theta equals one minus cosine squared theta. Uh, so I don't think this thing will let me write. No, it's not going to. So. Um, the form we're going to use is sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Subtract cosine squared x from both sides.
tells us that sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. So this is what we have in the denominator, right? So we can replace this and say that this is 1 over sine squared x. It's not listed here, is it? But remember, we couple that with uh, this cosecant is equal to 1 over sine. So this, using the reciprocal function, is cosecant squared of x. This one here. Just a different way of writing it. They're, they're both the same function. If we graph them, the, the graphs will be the same and everything. So we could write it, that's the thing with the trigonometry, you could write it in multiple ways. So this equals 1 over sine squared x, which is also the same thing as cosecant squared x. Okay. Uh, cosine x sine x divided by tangent. So cosine x times sine x. Remember, tangent is sine over cosine. Since we're dividing by tangent, what we want to do is we're multiplying by the reciprocal of tangent, which is cosine over sine. So we've got this long multiplication thing. Sine divided by sine is 1. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared. Uh, in this one, we see the same thing um, as what we did over here, right? 1 minus cosine x, uh, cosine squared is sine squared. 1 minus sine squared is going to be cosine squared. So this is going to be equal to sine squared x, which is the top. And in the bottom, that's just going to become cosine squared x. We don't see that as an answer, but sine over cosine is tangent. So this is going to be tangent squared. All right. So those are the identities that we're working with.